Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new UFC 4 career mode video. In today's video, I want to go over everything with you guys before we get into my first ranked or official fight. So um here we are at the HUD. Um don't mind my outfit. Um I just decided to throw on something a little, you know what I'm saying, razzle dazzle just to be chill. But basically, you have your fight offer, your contract bonuses, um, your ghost status, which I'm chasing for sure. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and the playlist to make sure that you guys keep up with every video. Of course, your fight history, my rank. And if you press down on the R3, you go to Fighter Evolution, Social Media, Edit Your Appearance. And we're going to go into Fighter Evolution. But first, let me take you guys to the Player Hub. They got challenges. You can view your profile. You can't customize your fighter, so I'm guessing that's something a little different maybe later down the line because it's grayed out. The fighter store and get points. This is the first time that um, I, I think you've been able to purchase points to upgrade your character and things of that nature. So basically, points are the little uh, blue UFC logo point system. And if I went to go customize my fighter, I could buy the actual crown that i want but i'm gonna grind for that you know what i mean i'm gonna grind the regular points for it i'm not gonna go ahead and put any money into this game okay um and i advise anybody out there to not do the same do not put a whole bunch of money into this game unless you're one of those people that like pulling packs and all this extra stuff you go ahead you gotta have fun you know what i'm saying i'm gonna grind it out but basically um it's telling me here that you have to upgrade your attributes and everything like that so we're just going to go ahead and start upgrading things now if you guys know my stand-up game is pretty okay my grappling is trash but the main thing that i need is my strength and health and cardio so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and upgrade my cardio that's right we're going to keep upgrading cardio so i don't fall out okay so now that i have cardio at four stars i have about 12 points left okay so let's go ahead and um go to punch power no you know what not 18 14 i can't even spend on any of that you know what we're gonna do we're gonna hoard the points okay i'm not gonna go into mail matter of fact nope can't even get my blocking up i get my uh footwork up mm, nah we're not gonna deal with any of that all right i'm gonna hoard these 12 points but what I want to do is I want to go ahead and see what my fight offers look like. So let's go ahead and go over the fight offer. Let's see who is on the list to get destroyed. So um, basically, it's an undercard UFC 253. The hype is super, super low. Um, my max camp is a month. That's not bad. Um, I wonder if I got to like cut weight or anything like that. Um, your starting uh, fitness is moderate. Uh, I get 13 grand for showing out and I get 13 grand for winning. The opponent's name is Sean Robinson. He's... 5'10", 235 pounds. He only has a 72 reach. He's going down for sure. Um, Let's see. What else do we have? Um, Fighter style. Let me see. Overall. Watch tape and training camp. Oh, okay. So right now, I have none of those unlocked. So let's go ahead and accept the fight. All right. So 10% of total fight payout um let's go 35 percent. jesus mm, i'm trying to now this is this is where things get get a little spicy do i want the money or do i want to train mm. you know what this is my first fight this is what we're going to do we're going to go a week out i don't know how much weight i have to cut i don't know what moves i need to learn but i am not giving them 35 percent of my purse okay so sparring lets you practice with a training partner specialized mma okay cool all right um hype gives you promotion time which i have none of um all training cap actions weekly cost weekly points okay you have 100 points to spend each week um injuries suffered during training camp will take away weekly points okay all right so the first thing that i need to do is um, okay the ufc has a new fighter on board gets his wish to be one of who faces the debuting okay cool all right uh oh um i'm happy that you stepped up welcome to the big show okay let me respond to that um all right i guess i gotta select this um should i i'm not gonna taunt this guy uh mainly because i ain't tripping on it 
Um, let's see. All right. If he wants his debut, I'm leaving the internet forever. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I'm not worth it the time. Oh my goodness. What do you mean? What's my manager thinking? Oh, the internet is trolling me right now. Okay, so. Yep, I think that's it. All right, let's get into this fight then. Whoa, he 24 and 0? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't know. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. I, I didn't know my man was this good. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, so another big spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mats. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just you Ready? Yes, sir. Oh man, you one of those. Okay. All right, here we go. It's round one. The UFC debut has finally arrived for this young man. It's a feel-good story, undeniably. He's got a lot of friends and family in the Ooh. building. And given what he did on the regional circuit, the expectations are high that he can step right into the big show tonight and realize success immediately. Doesn't happen for everybody, but a lot of hype behind this young man. We'll see if he can live up to it tonight. And you learn a lot about these prospects when they're put in positions that they're not normally this boy, in. Uh, inside this boy of light. You do them in practice. But there's a big difference when you experience it inside the UFC. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of yes, it there sir. with that punch. A uh, little single collar tie there. Come on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? back to the spot the clinch position oh uh oh get a bug stand up oh nice nice able to check the high kick hmm. what you got for me all right he'll engage in a single collar tie oh uh oh that one is thrown to end the fight dang No, I stuffed that, bro. Come on. Let's get right. Just a slip there. Misses with the left hook. Ooh. I ran out of stamina. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice one, two there. Come on. Good series of punches by him there. I'm He's running. Had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up. Come on. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. Here. I mean, one of the best jabs. Come on, bro. I got to knock you out in a minute. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes out. Oh, good kick. It's picture perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Ooh, sheesh! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, have to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. That was again. Nice strike. Oh, huge right hand. Oh! Ooh. Hold on, let me switch my stands back. Final seconds around one. Oh! Come on. I've had a knockout. Ah! Uh. 
Almost had the knockout, bro. Yeah, he was able to really I'm selling. You see the hands. My jab is serious, boy. That jab different. Ah! Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, yo. I thought if I if that would have had ten seconds left, I probably could have finished that. I ain't gonna lie, I probably could have finished that, man. Oh, my lip bleeding. I gotta get him back for that. It's time to let my hands go. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Straight right hand now. Just ooh, misses. nice move. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a beautiful ooh, ooh, look. Ooh, God, that boy crumbled. He crumbled. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hunter. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. I wish I could have finished him in the first round. That would have been awesome. But it's okay though, I still got a knockout. You know what I mean? Not many people was here. Jeez. It's all good, though. I ain't tripping. Okay. Hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. I, I de Ooh, hold up. Dominic Cormac? Okay, you put, you put myself online? You put me on this story? Okay, let's get right. Listen, make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. This video will be in the UFC for career mode playlist. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.